Yo, yo, it's your boy, Fro Fizzle. And today I'm going to be talking about the films and the stuff I watched in June 2023. So ain't nothing to it, but to do it. As I go through the movies, I'm going to save a majority of my thoughts for full reviews. But I'm still going to touch on little things here and there of what I thought. First one we got is The Boogeyman, the recent one that just came out. And long story short, there were things I liked about it. But there were also things that I wasn't a big fan of, like the CGI of the creature and the overall design. Some interesting ideas here and there, and the acting was fine. I had no problem with the acting. Next up, the new Transformers film, Rise of the Beasts. As someone who's not so knowledgeable with the series and the overall franchise like the cartoons back in the day, I am aware of the Michael Bay films. I have seen one, which I really enjoyed when it first came out. I don't remember loving two, maybe a couple things here and there. I remember kind of liking three. I wasn't interested in four and I was not interested in five when Marky Mark started appearing. But I did find some enjoyment out of this new one. I thought the acting was fine, liked the new characters, which usually the Transformers films are about the robots. But I, I liked the new characters. I had no problem with them. Some of the soundtrack choices were pretty cool. Some soundtrack choices weren't so great. But as far as me seeing robots kick ass and etc., I enjoyed the film. I know, again, I'm not so knowledgeable with the franchise, but I liked it. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Right off the bat, I'm not the biggest comic book guy. I'm not knowledgeable of too many things, but I have seen the films. So maybe some of my criticism with the comic book movies isn't fair. And obviously, some things I'm not going to understand. I'm humble enough to admit that, no problem. But as far as sitting down and watching the movie, I did like it. I like the character of Miles. He sprays up, he's a graffiti artist, loves hip-hop, and I like the relationship between him and his family, the mom and the dad who's a cop. But I do got to admit, it is a multiverse film, and some multiverse things here and there can throw me off. Once in a while, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but with this film, I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy it. I did like the film. I just felt that it was a little bit too much for my personal viewing. And that's not even really knocking the film or anything like that. It's just my two eyes. Extraction 2 with Chris Hemsworth. I really enjoyed this one. I had a blast pretty much nonstop from beginning to end. Action sequences kicked ass. There's one particular one that people made a big deal out of, the 20-minute take scene. I fucking love that scene. I thought it was awesome. I didn't realize it was a 20-minute take scene or the way they manipulated it to be like that until later. I just So I didn't really notice it. I just thought the scene kicked ass. I do enjoy the first film, Extraction, but I thought the sequel here was just an overall better experience. Better action, the movie feels bigger, and there's a bit more emotion in here than the first one. So I'm rooting for Chris Hemsworth's character more. There's even a short montage sequence in the snow where Chris Hemsworth is building himself back up to his full strength, and it really felt like Rocky IV. And I'm, maybe that was intentional from the filmmakers, but I enjoy, I really appreciated that. With this next one coming up, we're going to steer away from the theater films and the 2023 flicks and all the recent ones coming out. We're going back to 2004 with a terrible film by the name of Death Valley, The Revenge of Bloody Bill. And if you want to check this one out, it's on Tubi. I got to admit, the first time I saw it was 2004 on the Sci-Fi Channel. So I do have some pretty cool memories with it. And I do love zombies. Anybody who knows me knows how much I love zombies. I remember being a kid sitting back and enjoying this piece of shit movie. But I recently rewatched it. And it is bad. If you watch the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's pretty damn bad. Acting is horrible, writing is horrible, camera work is schizophrenic and all over the fucking place. The zombies look terrible. I have to admit, I did have a tiny bit of enjoyment with the film. You can sit back with your boys and just laugh at all the horrible mistakes, goofs, and choices in this fucking movie. I got to see the new Disney Pixar flick, Elemental. And I gotta admit, I was pleasantly surprised with this one. I haven't had a lot of faith in the recent Pixar films in a very long time. Maybe the last one that I really enjoyed was Coco. And usually Pixar has a very strong record. You got Up, Finding Nemo, you got fucking 
Monster Zinc, I could go on and on, you know, just fantastic films. Is this one at a caliber of Up, Finding Nemo? I wouldn't think so, but I still had a good time with this one, as a separate viewing. I'm not the biggest romance guy with my movies, but I thought the relationship between Fire and Water was rather well done. At first, I'm having some doubts, like, I'm not loving the water guy at first, I think he's pretty slimy. But as the movie goes on, he starts winning the audience over, and the main character, the fire chick. I really enjoy the animation, specifically the design of the element world that the characters are in. And the movie also has my favorite composer of all time, personally, Thomas Newman, who also did Finding Nemo, Road to Perdition, Shawshank Redemption, Green Mile. But it was nice to hear him handle the music for the movie, and to hear some of his trademark pianos, etc. But that's it, y'all. I wanted to watch more, but I had a really busy month traveling, going back and forth, show after show, handling the music, trying to get the music out. New project that I'm working on that I'm aiming for August 28th. It's going to be a solo EP. So I'm aiming to drop that. Going to drop some singles this month. And it don't stop. But until next time, if you want to hear Fro Nerdy Talk or you want to stay tuned for more reviews, game reviews, movie reviews, um, reactions, tributes, etc., commentaries, let me know, comment below, and uh, what do you want to see more out of, you know, I mainly do the movie reviews, but, you know, that's it, I'm blabbering, but until next time, peace.